Hey, good morning everybody. It is July 24th. We're trying to get finished up here over at our southern ranch. I uh, had a pretty good shower yesterday afternoon, so it kind of screwed bailing up for this morning. So I'm just kind of waiting around for stuff to get dried up. He's raking on it a little bit to fluff it up, get some air into it, and get it dried up. While I had a minute, I kind of wanted to shoot a quick video of a of a must-have conversion if you're going to be running uh, these smaller 30 series and 40 series tractors, if you're going to be running a loader on them. Um, you'll probably, or if you have run a loader on them, you'll probably run into uh, trouble with cracking rims. Uh, these originally came with just a little six bolt rim in the front. And for years and years, we just kept cracking rims and taking them to the welding shop and having them beefed up. And, you know, it still, still doesn't get rid of the core problem is with the little six bolt rims that, uh, the acorn on the lug bolt itself is actually kind of what carries the weight on the tractor. Uh, we have two of these. This is a 4230 1977 model and up on the hill there is a 1978 or 9, I can't remember. 4040 John Deere, basically the same tractor. Uh, the only difference between them is this one's a quad range, that one's a power shift. And of course with the 40 series you get a hydraulic ride seat and a little bit thicker floor mat. But other than that they're identical tractors, all the parts are I'd say 95% interchangeable. Uh, but the conversion that we did on these is if you're having trouble with these rims, go ahead and order a hub from, oh, anything like a 19, whatever, 4440. Uh, the bearings bang right out of your six bolt hubs and pop right into this hub here. And then you get the, the eight bolt rim. And the inside of this rim is probably twice as thick as on the six bolt hubs. And the weight of the tractor is actually carried right in there. Instead of being carried, you know, pushed up with the acorn nuts, these aren't even acorn nuts, they're, they're flat on the back side. But it pushes up and the weight is actually carried right in that channel right there. And since we've converted both of these tractors, we haven't replaced a rim or tractor rim. You know, I think I did the 4040 back in 2000, uh, 2009 or 2010. And we did this one a couple years later. But like I say, if you're going to do any type of loader work with these at all, you want to get those hub changed. Uh, it still doesn't change the fact that the weak link on these ones is the spindle. I mean, if you're trying to, if you're abusing them with a the front end loader, you're going to be breaking spindles too. But uh, most of the time, we try to be pretty careful with these. We don't try to pack two bales at once, anything like that. But like I say, since we've converted these, we haven't had any trouble. And a lot of these tractors came with. Uh, Oh, either the 1016s, or some of them I think may have even had a 15 on them, but for loader work you're going to want to have 1116 on the front. They handle the weight a lot better, they ride better. But yeah, just thought I had a minute so I'd share that with you. It, it does cost a little bit of money, I can't remember what the hubs were worth. It seems like the hubs are cheaper than the rims, but in the long run, you know, after you break, you know, three or four rims and mess up threads on hubs and replace six bolt hubs. I think we've had new six bolt hubs on this tractor twice. And once those lug bolts start getting a little bit loose, then it chews the threads up inside of them. And then you're trying to put lock nuts on the back with, with longer bolts, you know. But if you want to solve the issue, go ahead and get 4440 hubs and rims slap on there.